Hey, Dan here, and in this video, you're gonna learn two superpowers that you have as an ENFP, but you might not have even realized either you have or that they are superpowers. But let me tell you right now, these two things can have a huge impact on the lives of others, and for most people, are considered extremely valuable, but you might be taking them for granted because you've always had these. So if you're not a regular viewer on the channel, you may not know, but I am an ENFP as well, and I work with a lot of ENFPs as a coach for both personal life and business life. And one thing that I hear a lot is about being a jack of all trades, about the negative side to not being able to maybe focus on one thing or just do the same thing over and over. And in our world today, there's a lot of talk about mastery, becoming really, really good at one thing. And yes, there is a lot of benefits to focusing in and getting really good at one thing. But what the ENFP often does very well is learn a lot of things and learn things very quickly. We tend to be people who can learn very fast. We pick things up. You drop us in a disaster zone, we will figure out the problems and we will make things happen. Literally, I knew an ENFP and this was their job. They worked for a big uh, non-government organization and they were flown into disaster zones to make stuff happen and figure out what's going on and set everything up and all that. So we are very good at getting our bearings quickly, learning things quickly, figuring out what needs to be done. And yes, being a Jack or Jill of all trades, right? Where we know bits and pieces of everything. Sure, sometimes this isn't a good thing where we don't have the same ability necessarily to focus and become exceptionally good at one thing. But on the other hand, it gives us the ability to be really flexible. I know for myself, when it comes to hiring people, someone who is quick uh, at picking things up, who can learn quickly, who I don't have to explain things in every little bit of detail is really, really valuable. And so as an ENFP, you have this ability to handle lots of different projects that makes you really valuable in things like event management or entrepreneurship, whether you yourself are starting a business or you're working close with an entrepreneur and in tons of other fields, that ability to do lots of things and basically have a goal and learn or know the little pieces along the way to get to that goal is extremely valuable. And the second superpower, it's an ability to essentially read a room. As an ENFP, you might not realize you do this, but when you go into a room, you get a sense of the energy. You're the first person, yes, the first person, this is our true superpower, who uh, senses a shift in mood, who can tell when someone's a bit off or that person's offended or this person's uncomfortable. And to us, it seems totally natural. We think that's just how everyone is. It's not. This is why you get those conversations. Maybe you've had these where you're talking to someone and they're talking and they're standing too close to you and they're telling you some boring story and it's so obvious to you, you're awkward. You're like standing this way and trying to get away from them and they don't get it, right? That is a lot of people. They don't have that same level of intuition. And so what that means as a superpower is a couple things. For anything like facilitating, coaching, teaching, of course, it's a natural where you're gonna be able to use that power and get really good results. But beyond that, just in general, being able to work with people, communicate with people well, be liked by people is a superpower. And so you might find yourself working for or partnering with or hiring someone who's more like a TJ type. And they're very good at being structured. They're very good at making things happen at having like everything organized well. But they, they often don't get along with people too well or they, they find they have staffing problems because they're a little too assertive and they're a little too maybe aggressive or direct. And you'd be able to come in as an ENFP and soften things up a little bit, be able to see both sides of a conversation. Perhaps you've had this experience as well. I know I have way too many times where you're sitting out for dinner or maybe just at a cafe with a couple of friends and they're having a conversation where they're having two different conversations. Person A and person B do not understand each other. And because of that, they're, they're running into um, disagreements, they're arguing, they just can't get their points across. And you're sitting there as an ENFP scene, both sides, and like, okay, wait, hold up guys. Here's what you're trying to say, here's what you're trying to say, 
here's like the translations and go. And then you can put them together and get them on the same page. So that ability to understand people, whether it's emotionally or whether it is in terms of actually their message is a really powerful skill and is something that um, you should not underestimate the value of as an ENFP. The key is, of course, with both these superpowers is finding the best ways to put these into use in your life, is finding the best ways to use these rather than just trying to do the same job as someone else, trying to throw yourself into a position that isn't right for you and then hoping you can somehow apply these or make it work. So if you are a regular subscriber, you already know that is part of what I try to help you do here is help you figure out what you do best, what your superpowers are, and then how you can build a life around them. If you're not a regular subscriber, now is the time to join me. You'll find lots more content, of course, on ENFPs, on how you can be your best self, and also how you can actually apply those strengths of yours into what I call the life design approach. You're designing your life around your strengths so that you can just have the best life you possibly can. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.